Lust brings disaster. The Bodhisattva previously served as a monarch's chaplain. One day, a big fish and his wife were swimming in a river and were being delightfully playful with one another. She hurriedly swam around the fisherman's net after noticing that he had just tossed it. Her adoring husband, however, who was captured, was not warned. He was dumped on the sand by the fisherman, who then walked off to start a fire for dinner. When the Bodhisattva went to the river to take a bath, he overheard the fish bemoaning his lot. The fish was worried that his wife might believe he had left her for another fish rather than that he was about to die. The Bodhisattva felt bad for the fish because he knew that if he passed away while in a rage, he would be born again in hell. The Bodhisattva requested to take the enormous fish that had just been caught as the daily donation from the local fisherman, who gave the palace one fish per day. After preaching to him to quit being a slave to desire while sitting on the riverside, the Bodhisattva threw the fish back into the water. In the Buddha's lifetime one of the Buddha's students and his ex-wife were the parents of the two fish in their previous lives. The Buddha told the pupil this story when he started to want for her, to show him that she was ultimately destructive to him and that he had been protected from her in a past life.